hi everyone welcome back and today i'm with another video on gantt chart so gantt chart can be um, quite problem for someone who is starting from the beginning and um, have never drafted a gantt chart um, for example it was similar for me also when i started so there's not much help on the internet um, so you have to mm, follow the instruction and uh, those are also not very clear. So in this video, I will explain how to make a better Gantt chart um, and in, in a logical flow and that uh, helps uh, mm, the reviewers to easily mm, look at your implementation plan. So a Gantt chart is essential part of MSCA proposal. It goes in the implementation section and it should illustrate um, the work packages, their timeline, milestone, deliverable, secondments, dissemination, all kind of activities. Uh, it, you need to sum up them in, in the Gantt chart in, in a clear way. And the problem is space is not much. So you have to write kind of short abbreviations for different things. Uh, so I will show you the examples. Mm, and it is very important and uh, it's important is highlighted in MSEA guidelines like uh, a Gantt chart must uh, be included in, within the implementation section. So without a Gantt chart, your proposal might disqualify. How to structure the Gantt chart in MSEA proposal? So it should be structured in feasible, credible and flexible plan aligned to your project objectives. Also include a career development plan and data management plan in the Gantt chart. I have seen some proposal which don't have it, but it is written in the guidelines clearly that career development plan and data management plan should be included in the Gantt chart. And uh, all activities like scientific tasks, uh, training, especially dissemination, communication, outreach should be clearly written in the Gantt chart, like what month they will be started, what month they will end, um, whether they will continue throughout the timeline of your MSE proposal. Uh, similarly, uh, non-academic placements, secondments, uh, short stays, they, they should be uh, clearly reflected in the Gantt chart uh, with the realistic uh, durations and uh, clear logical order. For example, in my first uh, uh, Gantt chart, they, they mentioned that the secondment uh, uh, is, is not uh, mm, uh, well defined or well not um, not justified. Like uh, the time I want to spend there, how how is it justified? And similarly, include milestone deliverables uh, to monitor uh, or evaluate the progress uh, of your uh, your proposal. Like they should be written in a way that that can evaluate. So further in the structure of uh, Gantt chart, um, include work packages uh, in like each work packages and try to include their uh, title, like short title, maybe not not the. Mm, full title but maybe short title or maybe um, one that is a major um, you know, task in the work package you should write the name i will show example how i, I wrote name in my gantt chart yeah, similarly uh, indicate uh, deliverable and with like a short abbreviation for like d1 d2 and try to connect them with the work packages and similarly indicate uh, milestones like m1 m2 and connect them with the work packages and Gantt chart also should highlight the resource and time allocation like the time that you want to allocate uh, is it justified or not it should be clear in your um, Gantt chart and also personal contribution and if possible, allow intermediate checkpoints uh, in your Gantt chart. So if uh, something is not going well and you need to change your plan, so Gantt chart can allow you or easily uh, monitor the progress and then allow you to change uh, the plan or action. So further in the structure of Gantt chart, uh, the font size that is recommended uh, is minimum of eight. So this is for time new Roman. If you're using another, for example, Arial, maybe you can use uh, 
a little bit lower, but it should be easily legible. For example, I use 7.5 with Arial. Um, so it's totally fine if it is legible. This is also one of the point in the guideline that reviewers uh, are likely to notice the font size if you include like a picture or even a screenshot. So make sure that it is legible. And can chart counts towards the 10 page limit of uh, your proposal. Um, the schedule of the Gantt chart should indicate the number of months elapsed from start of the month, like uh, month one, month two, or you can write M1, M2, but don't write the actual dates in, in the Gantt chart. And also remove column for a duration that is longer than your proposal. For example, your proposal is for two years. Um, anything longer than that, you should not include in the Gantt chart. And if it is less uh, or if it is longer, so if you're on a um, global fellowship, so it should include three years if you're spending three years. So this is uh, one of the example of Gantt chart that is given by uh, European Commission so you can see how it is divided so each uh, column uh, for example the first column here is uh, work packages WP1, WP2 up to WP6 and you can include secondment, placement uh, although it has not written here uh, dissemination, communication, outreach you should include these things here also in the title you can write the short title um, of e each in this section and these columns are months like this is uh, for three months plan for global fellowship but if you are doing European fellowship you cut here for 24 months and um, so this is uh, then you can color uh, if the activities are continuing or not continuing for example this green here means this will continue up to 10 months the work package one and then work package two will start from uh, month six and will continue up to month 22 and, and so on. So next is an example of uh, my Gantt chart, how I wrote in my MSCA proposal. Uh, so it looks a little bit more colorful, but I try to um, color each uh, section uh, like with, with a, uh, not very um, bold color, but light colors and try to um, wrote in a, this way so here I wrote like this is a Gantt chart in this vertical um, direction and then work package activity I made one column and then put a bracket just to save some space like work package one is a data management so I um, it is high uh, like colored throughout the um, uh, 24 months so it, it means it will continue 24 months and similarly, career development plan, work package two, it will start from month one and will continue until the month 24. And uh, then work package three, that was the experimental work synthesis of the material that I want to make. And uh, this will start from month one and then will continue uh, until uh, month 12. Then uh, characterization of their property, the work package four. Uh, so for two months, um, like here, um, and then further um, synthesis. This uh, was again longer, starting from month number um, fifteen and going all the way up to month number twenty-three. Uh, and work package second is a project management. Again, project management will continue uh, from month one until the end of your project. And then I made separate uh, uh, section for deliverable. I put all deliverable that I mentioned in work packages over here, like there are more deliverables in month one, and then there is one in month six, and uh, this continues like, uh, depending on the work package, uh, how many deliverable it had. Similarly, milestone, I did not put many milestone, like just uh, three milestone in, in my project. It depends on the nature of a uh, project and the work you're doing. It, it, they can be more or less, just make sure that they're realistic, like uh, you can achieve them or it is very easy to point out on the Gantt chart that this thing is not, not feasible or um, this could not be possible or the months that you're allocating maybe too less or too um, high. So 
So you have to be careful here. And similarly, second amendment, I mentioned that this will be for two months here and then two months here. Um, journal conferences, uh, so for conferences, I wrote C, C1, uh, two, I want to attend two conferences and journal publication, like I want to publish uh, two journal scientific publications. Also here, you need to be careful not adding uh, too many. Uh, this could be easily pointed out here. And uh, sim similarly, um, I added one section for seminar round table that I want to organize uh, uh, or want to present uh, within my institute or um, organizing a round table. Like for example, I wrote R1 for this one here. And then dissemination communication, I, I said that this will continue for throughout my project. Um, and outreach, uh, so I mentioned outreach activities uh, four times in different months. And then another one I added, uh, supervision and mentoring. So this is the supervision and mentoring of any PhD or master students in, in my host lab. So this will also continue for 24 months. I also explained the terms in the Gantt chart because sometimes it would be confusing, like what is S, what is O, if anybody want to see. As Q is for quarter, so I divided it into in, instead of month, a year, in quarter, like six months, six months, and six months. So Q is for quarter. CDP is for career development plan. D is for deliverable. M is for milestone. And uh, C is for conferences. J for general pub submission, general publication, S for seminar, R for round table, O is for outreach. So if your uh, Gantt chart is written very well, clearly, and uh, everything uh, is uh, like the time, especially allocation is uh, well managed, so you get some kind of uh, this comment in, in your uh, uh, in your reviewer's report, like a clear Gantt chart is included completely consistent with the structure and timings of workflow, including deliverable milestones and secondment. So another thing, sometimes um, we are confused how to create this kind of table. Uh, so, so you can uh, make in different ways like PowerPoint, Word. So I did that in, uh, uh, Excel file. So then after making it in the Excel file, I converted it into uh, PNG or JPG image and pasted it here. So it depends on how um, comfortable you are using, but I think uh, it could be possible in Word and uh, PowerPoint also. So I hope this video helps you to write your uh, Gantt chart in more effective way. Thank you for watching.